is rattling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my girl and extended family. Just thank you for being there. You know, even though sometimes I might get emotional at times, please know it's from good intentions because I hate getting emotional. I had to really gather myself up before I started my next video. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video, or you're just up, tell me about your impact to give, how it impacted your life, and hand you towards a positive direction. If you feel like the video is very informative to you, or even gave you good vibes, you love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even if you impact that they're going through some really hard times right now, the confirmation or validation towards their life path or their sole purpose. Please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, wherever you see fit. Thank you so much for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Yes, this I've, I've used this video probably about a few weeks ago. I'm not sure. But I really love it. It's called Hang Drums, Water Drum Yoga Music, Positive Energy Music. And I'll post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about um, 2021 Hey, this What a beautiful blessing to finally come out the Bat Cave. Yeah, I'll be feeling like Batman sometimes, you know. <laughs> He's in the, the dark night, not the dark night of the soul, because good God, you know, that's the worst thing to go through. But it's just like you already know you can basically resonate with that. You know, if you've been in a dark place for so long, you know, just being very depressed, anxiety, panic attacks, you know, just crying at the drop of a hat, you know, just not like grateful crying, but just crying like you're tired emotionally, mentally emotional it was like emotionally mentally spiritually tired just drained all all across the board we know what that feels like but when you can finally rest assured and you're starting to see a blessing here a blessing there you know you're starting to become more grateful for the experience you have not just throughout life but throughout the day throughout that minute throughout the hour or that week you know the more you seem grateful and more not more you seem grateful but more you give thanks even though th that day might not have been good but you can rest assured there was something out of that day you know there's a lot of people that fight for their lives they got you know illnesses where it's hard for them to breathe hard for them to walk even get out of bed you know and there's a lot of times where we're just complaining the fact is you know we're gonna chip the nail or something like that you know there's far more people out here that has worse things than going on with us and like i tell people i'm not trying to say that one one's person one person's stressful experience is a lot worse than somebody else's but it's just like if we were all to throw our stress or our issues and stuff on the table are you going to pick up somebody else's or are you going to pick up yours because you already know what you're dealing with but when you pick up somebody else's thinking their life is a lot easier than yours because this and this and this and that i guarantee you gonna pick up yours and you're like shoot i already know what i'm about to get with mine you know i might have to deal with this and this and that but at least i know what i have going on in my life you know you can't never you never can question somebody else's journey because you might not understand that journey. But that person understands that. You know, there's not a lot of people that understand it's my journey. Um, but I understand it. You know, it took me a while to understand it. But I can look at the bigger picture and see, you know, why I had to go through the things I've got, got to go through. Why did I experience the things that I got to experience? You know, even though I went through so many hard times, there's so many things I couldn't be grateful for. You know, because my life has taught me faith my life has taught me patience forgiveness behind all measures no matter what has happened it could be a lot worse than it was you know knowing that i had universe protecting my back you know knowing you know i used to hear my mom and them tell me all the time even in my head you are so lucky and i used to laugh i'll see you a damn lie <laughs> i was like how am i lucky i got all this stuff going on but it's just the fact is there was a lot of things that i don't know that god has protected me from or even when things has happened and I see how people try to be really vindictive towards me and hateful and things still came out in my favor. You know, sometimes I have to catch myself when I start busting out laughing. I said, see, this is what you get, you know, because you try to do this to me and see how God came out and blessed me anyway. You know, there's a lot of times people will try you just to see how you go, if you're going to come out of box on them or whatever. But it's just basically 
when you can actually see your life and understand why you went through the things you've gone through. Like I tell people, you know, my situation, I had no patience. I had no faith. You know, I've, I've told people a lot of times, I said the things that I've endured, the things that I've went through, especially with family. You know, when I tell people, if you're going through some petty BS with your family and you know this is something y'all can talk through and make up for, do that. Because it is just painful when you know that your family will put your head on the chopping block just because they want to be able to live life as good and don't even give a damn about what happens to you, what happens to your children, nothing like that, as long as they're able to live good. I mean, I've had family that did that to me. You know, I had my adoptive father call me one time and tell me, oh, well, I took you off of my, you know, my will and this and this and that, but I'm going to see if my wife will go ahead and make sure you're taken care of. I'm like, that? No, we had to catch myself i'm like that is not my mom this is something you should do for me you know you knew me before you knew her and i understand that's your wife but why would you you know why would you break your neck to call me about something like that you know i went through stuff like that and now it's just like you know people like that has really got some serious mental issues if you go out your way to try to hurt your own kid you know i i mean i had to endure stuff like that and now when i can sit up here and look at it you know that stuff don't even bother me no more I can use that as a prime example. It's just like you have to be able to have tough skin, especially when it comes to own family night. You know, when people come at me and I told people, this is what my family did to me. This is what they have tried to do to me. These are the things that they said. And you think about the little, you know, dumb stuff you coming at me with. You think this is going to puncture me? Now, you try to deal with something like that when it comes from family and thinking whatever somebody come at you and say, it's petty. That's why I tell people, if you got good family there, you know, family going to bump heads. Family going to have disagreements. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? But if you got that good relationship and you just stop talking to your family over some penny any BS, times are too short. You can have a family like mine or you can just have one like that where y'all occasionally bump each other's heads. But life is too short for you to be mad about some little simple things. Y'all can talk it out and walk, you know, and just walk away and still be on good terms. You know, and I always tell people that, you know, if you, you, you got your parents here and you know that they still by your side, they might be a little controlling or whatever. But if y'all can talk stuff out, do that, because there are going to be many a days I wish my mom was here. You know, I, I tell them that all the time. You know, when I had people that were like, Roz, my mom's getting on my nerve. I said, please don't say that. And, you know, they had to really think about it like, Dad, Roz, I'm sorry. I said, it's OK. But, you know, I want you to go ahead and speak what you need to speak on. But let, I'm going to go ahead and say what I'm going to say my piece after you finish. You know, they might not like what I said, but then at the end of the day, they understood why I said it. Because there's many a days I told my mom, I wouldn't give a damn if you die. You know, I used to tell her that. And then when this fact is, when it came down to that, you know, I really felt like, God, what did she do so bad that you had to put all these health issues on her? And I had to see my mom deteriorating. You know, because my adopted father had me hate my mom so much because he made me feel like everything that was supposed to be a secret, it was because she didn't want to be out. But it was totally the opposite, you know. And then when we finally been able to see the light and me and my mom made up and made amends for that. And I took care of my mom for like three and a half months, the last three and a half months of her life. You know, and before that, it was like a month and a half. Me and my mom used to have drinks together, laughing and talking until three, four o'clock in the morning, staying on the phone until one of our, one of each other fell asleep like we were girlfriends. I was after at the end of the day, I was angry at God because you you allowed me to have that that little time and then you snatched her from me. But when I had to really step back and look like, yeah, that might have been fair. But look at what the chance I gave you. She didn't want to spend her last few months being bitter about anything, being depressed about anything. She knew she was about to die. So allow her to be able to enjoy every minute of it because she knew it could have been any day. Today could have been that day. But if she knew she was able to make it through that day, she wanted to be able to spend it with her grandkids. She wanted to be able to spend it with her daughter. You know, her other daughter passed away. The other, you know, her other child was like, you know, in prison back and forth. So it was just like going through all these different things in my life. You know, I, I was angry at God because that's the only parent that really cared about me. You took them away from me. That was so unfair, you know, and then it's just like it took me a couple of years to understand. She allowed me. I was able to make that peace with her. You know, I can say that my mom left here and she was happy. The fact is that I took care of her. You know, there was many a days where I had to wait until my mom went to sleep for her morphine to kick in, for her not to be able to feel pain, just to cry my eyes out and beg God to give me her illness and let her be able to not suffer. I hated seeing my mom suffer all the time. You know, going through all that, it was a real true eye opener for me. 
and being able to see everything that have I've endured in life and knowing I can tell people, you know, be grateful for the things you have in your life. Don't never take life for granted. You know, there's days that it's not going to be good. I understand that. There's going to be days that you're going to be mad as hell at the universe about the stuff that you've been put into. And it's just like when you find out you're that earth angel or you're that special spirit and they don't put you in a human suit and tell you, hey, decode this, live this, do on the 3D, go on the 4D. Hey, you need to go through a shift. You need to ascend. You need to descend. I'm like, dang. <laughs> all these different things I had to endure but when you at the end of the day when you can start saying you know I had a good day it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be you know what thank you because I know it could have been far worse than that or you know you and your kids finally got along that day thank you you made ends meet thank you you have to give thanks for every single thing that they put in your life even if it's five daggone dollars you can win off on a scratch off that's five dollars better than what you had you know, I think about stuff like that all the time. And the more I'm grateful for the little things that I have in my life and not being a little chatterbox and just saying, you know, keeping that to myself and saying, thank you. You know, those are the things I give thanks for. The more I say thank you to the universe, the more grateful they see that you have on the little bitty blessings, the more big blessings will start coming in your life. Like, oh, OK, they finally are not taken for granted. You know, it could have been five dollars. Oh, I could have got more than that. Oh, okay. Well, shoot, it'll be a long time before we bless you again. But it's just like I've been in that route where I was mad because I'm just like, I'm doing all this and this and this and that. But see, I was looking for something in return. And now it's just like I do things selflessly. I don't care what I'm getting returned. When I, when I say I'm glad I'm getting returned, it's just the fact to see if somebody's mind being at peace, somebody's heart being at peace, knowing there is somebody down here I can talk to. You know, to be able to say, you know what, I get you. I understand this. I, you know, I'm going through this. I love it when somebody takes their time out and say, Rosalind, you know, I need somebody to talk to. I'm like, hey, baby, what's up? You know, what, what, what do we need to talk about? What you going through? You know, you might not like everything I'm saying, but when, at the end of the day, when you see everything and calm down and the smoke done clear, you're like, dad, Rosalind was right. And I, that... That was a blessing enough for me. And people are like, Ross, I want to gift you. No, that was a blessing just to be able to know that I can give you some kind of peace of mind. Those are the blessings that I love. And you know, it took a long time for me to come out that day on Bat Cave. I trust you that. <laughs> it took me a long time to have to do that. And you know, like I tell y'all, there's some days that I have to be able to take that time out for my self-care. You know, there are sometimes I will overdo it and be going like three, four days at a time. A lot of people don't know when you do these videos, it's very draining. Like I tell people, when you do certain things on videos, especially if it's about pushing out positivity, getting information from the, you know, source, universe, masses, all this stuff, take time for yourself to be able to recharge because it's like you're not doing that for free. You're not, and it's just not like, I'm not talking about monetary value, but I'm talking about spiritual value. You're using a lot of energy to be able to suck that energy up from, <laughs> up from the, you know, the heavens and stuff like that. So it takes a lot of energy out of you. It takes a lot of, you know, energy where you feel drained and tired. Cause there's days I put out seven, eight videos and I'm like, man, shh, I'm about to go sleep. You know, I'm sometimes I have to drink moxa drinks. You know, eat me some trail mix just to get that energy back up. There's sometimes I have to take a day or two off and it drives me nuts. But I know I had to do that for myself. So it's just like when you're looking at the things and you really step back and look at all the angles and, you know, see why you had to go through the things you had to go through. Yeah, a lot of things we go through, we feel like life is not fair. But look at all those people that got cancer. Look at them people that got life-threatening things where, you know, they, you know, they got lung cancer. They can't barely breathe it. You know, I've seen people that are like, you know, they trying to talk and get, you know, I'm just like, well, damn, you know, I'm glad I stopped smoking. You know, it could have been a lot worse for me and this and this and that, you know, being able to actually handle my stuff without no kind of stimulants and stuff, you know, cry it out or, you know, sing or, you know, go out in nature, being able to do some therapeutic things other than picking up a cigarette and rolling a blunt or having me a glass of wine. Those are the blessings be out of because I don't have to use a stimulant just to get through nothing. I might be pissed off, might be yelling at the world, be mad as hell, but you know what? I'm actually doing that naturally. You know, and I have to think about, like, God, dog, I really went through that and I didn't need anything. Thank God. This and this and that. So it's just like when you're going through all the things you're going through, know there's a big reason. And knowing that anytime you are able to make it through that day, whether or not it was good or not, try to find there's something positive about that day. At least try to come up with three things. If you can come up with three things, the next day try to see if you can come up with four. You know, and just always be grateful for the things that happen to your life and things that 
hasn't happened in your life. You always got to show, you know, gratefulness towards the universe. Because you know when they start noticing you're being grateful for the little things they place in your life, that's when you know the big ones are right around the corner. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Let me know if, you know, you resonate. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line or two. Share. Thumbs up. I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Sarah uh, Warsham. Marisol Coleman, and Miss Case, uh, Miss Sassy, wait a minute, no, Sassy Miss K, much love to you as well, and Mama Shark, much love to you too, and I'll see you on my next video, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there is always somebody out there praying for your better days, so send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can, and have a blessed day, peace, be wild.